Hello everybody, today we're going to be covering the fundamental equation of circuit analysis, Ohm's Law. Now, Ohm's Law has two forms. V equals IR is the circuit analysis form. J equals sigma times E is the material science or electromagnetics form. So we will not be covering the J equals sigma times E form. Now, for Ohm's Law, it's very simple. V equals IR. Now, what does this mean? It means that voltage is equal to current times resistance. Now, the units for voltage are volts, notated as V. The units for current are as amperes, commonly referred to as amps, notated as A. And the units for resistance are ohms, notated by this Greek symbol here. Now, in a very basic example, we are given this circuit here, also the most basic circuit you can find and we are given the values for current and resistance. Now what you want to do is make sure that your givens do not have any modifiers on them for the units because if you were given milliamps and milliohms your answer would be in microvolts and your homework assignment might want your answer to just be in volts. <laughs> Now in this case we're given milliamps and kiloohms so if you understand that milli is equal to 10 to the negative th is a modifier of 10 to the negative 3 and kilo is a modifier of 10 to the 3 you would understand that these cancel out and you would get voltage anyways but for those who don't I'm just going to show how you need to replace this milli with 10 to the negative 3 so current is equal to 5 times 10 to the negative 3 and then resistance is equal to 1 times 10 to the 3 ohms which is also equal to a thousand ohms that's easier for you to write and understand now we go down to where we plug in our variables just plug and chug so V equals I times R V equals 5 times 10 to the negative 3 amps times a thousand ohms or 1 times 10 to the 3 ohms equals 5 volts that is all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and any electrical engineering topics you want me to cover, I will gladly do so. Thank you for watching.